Hello everyone, it's Red Saber here from Saber C++, and today we're going to be learning about the Arduino clock module. If you want to follow along, I've put a few links in the description so you can get what you need. This is our DS3231 clock module. As you can see, it has six pins here on the right, which we can use to connect it to the Arduino. And on the back, it also has a battery, which ensures that the module stays powered and keeps time, even if it's disconnected from the Arduino, or the Arduino is off. Let's wire it up. I'll start by connecting an orange wire from the SDA pin on the clock module to the SDA pin on the Arduino. Now, if your Arduino has dedicated SDA and SCL pins, then they'll be right here on the bottom right. If it doesn't, however, don't worry. You can actually connect this orange wire to port A4, which is also connected to the SDA line. However, if you do have dedicated SDA and SCL pins, make sure to use them. Next, I'll connect this green wire from the SCL pin on the clock module to the SCL pin on the Arduino. Once again, if your Arduino doesn't have a dedicated SCL port, you can connect the green wire to port A5, which will be wired to the SCL line as well. We'll also need to power the sensor, so I'll connect this red wire from the VCC port on the clock module to the 5 volt port on the Arduino. And I'll connect this black wire from the ground port on the Arduino to the ground pin on the clock module. That's all the wiring we need to do, so let's hop over to the computer and get coding. First, we'll need to download a library to connect with the sensor more easily. I've linked to this page in the description, so you can simply follow that link, click this code button here, and select download zip. In the Arduino IDE, we'll go to sketch, include library, add.zip library. Then we'll navigate to our downloads folder, and open up the library we just downloaded. At the top, we'll start by including two libraries. First, we'll include the wire.h library, which is a library that's already built into the Arduino IDE. Next, we'll include the library we just downloaded, which is the ds3231.h. Then, we'll create a digital representation of our clock module, which will be of type ds3231, and we'll name it clock. We'll also need to create a digital structure that will hold our time, which will be of type RTC date time and we'll name it date time. This will hold the second, the minute, the hour, the day of the week, and so on. In the setup function, we'll initialize serial communication using serial.begin 9600. Then, we'll initialize the clock module using clock.begin. Then, we need to set the clock's time to our computer's time when we're uploading the code to make sure it's up to date. We can do this by typing clock.setDateTime underscore underscore date underscore 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 time underscore underscore. When we upload the sketch, the computer will substitute this date and this time for the actual date and time, making sure that the clock starts out up to date. In the loop function, we'll start by getting the time from our clock module. We'll set the date time variable we created above to be clock dot get date time. We'll start by printing out the date in the format year dash month dash day. So first, we'll use serial.print to print out the datetime.year. Then we'll print out a dash, then the datetime.month, then another dash, and then the datetime.day. We'll add more in a moment, but let's go ahead and test this out. We'll also need to delay at the end of the loop function so that we can read the times in a serial monitor more easily. I'll set mine to one second. Make sure your Arduino board is connected and hit the upload button to upload your code. Speaking of buttons, if this video has been helpful to you so far, Please tap the like button. As you can see, we're now printing out the date in the serial monitor. However, we forgot to add a new line at the end of our print statements, so it's all on the same line. Let's go ahead and fix that and also add the hour, minute, and second. First, I'll print out a space so that the date and the time don't run into each other. Then we'll do just what we did above, serial.print, date time, dot hour, then a colon, then the date time dot minute, then another colon, and the date time dot second. We'll need to make sure this last print statement is a print line statement. Let's try it out once again. As you can see, we're now printing out the date and the time, nicely formatted in the serial monitor. If you want to learn more about Arduino and the sensors and modules you can use with it, check out my channel, Saber C++. Thanks for watching.